Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is going to be all about Pinterest. I've been creating different mood boards that I really look up to inspire myself in shopping my own wardrobe. And I really encourage you guys to shop your own wardrobe before you go out and purchase anything new. So creating mood boards for myself on my Pinterest, I have a few for fall, different ones for summer and spring, but I've recently created a mood board where I change every other month or so outfit inspirations that can really help me achieve the best and highest potential when it comes to using what I already have. So every single outfit that you're going to see today, there is nothing new. I already had it in my wardrobe. I didn't go out purposely to buy anything to create these outfits and I'm super proud of myself because I've mentioned before that for the past couple of years I've been trying to curate my wardrobe in a sense that it makes it easy for me to just shop every single time I go in there and I feel like I'm wearing something new so all of the pieces that I'm going to share with you guys today in those outfits will be here anything that is still available online or maybe something similar make sure to check the info bar below because I will have links for you guys I hope that you enjoyed this video and let's get started. So I have my phone on hand so I can show you and talk you through the outfits that inspired me to recreate them with my own pieces. So I have two pictures on the screen right now and both of the models per se have yellow trousers and if you're new to my channel i don't particularly like a lot of color i tend to just go for neutrals but i feel like yellow is a really nice shade for summer and i find that it complements most skin tones but for me i've always been a little bit scared of it However, I saw these photos and I thought, I think this is a really cool look to rock. So I'm gonna show you the pieces that I created my outfit. So here you can see that I'm wearing yellow trousers, of course, these ones are from H&M. They're made of tensile, if I'm not mistaken. And I really love, love, love the fit of them. They're super high-waisted. They have a little bit of an elasticated area at the back, making them a little bit more comfortable. And I also love the fact that they're wide leg, but not too much. Now these trousers do have a little slit on both sides, but it's very minimal. It's nothing too out there. And I decided to keep it very much on par with the same photos from the models. I decided to pair it with a black top. I'm actually wearing a bodysuit from Zara that I've had for quite some time. And I feel like black and yellow go really, really well together. Like it really gives a good balance of not being too bright, but still making you look really nice and chic. Now for shoes, I decided to wear my mules from Another Stories. One of the models, I couldn't see her shoes, uh, but the other one, I believe she had, well, she does have some sandals. I'm not sure if they're high heels, if they're flats, but I wanted to kind of like look a little bit more like her outfit. And of course, one of the models also had a really out there type of pattern on her top, I decided to just tone it down and wear it just with a black bodysuit. So this type of outfit, I would more than likely wear it to go out at night, maybe to dinner, a date night. And of course, if you live here in the UK, you definitely need to have a little bit of outerwear. So I decided to add a black blazer. The overall outfit now looks a little bit more elevated and very, very effortless in my opinion. It's definitely one of those outfits that I never thought I would wear, but I actually really, really like how it turned out. So for my second outfit inspiration, I have the model right here. As you can see, she's wearing a denim shorts, which is one of the nicest things that you should have in your wardrobe, especially for spring and summer. And her shorts are a little bit distressed at the bottom, but she paired it with really classic pieces. For example, her shoes are very, very classic. Then she has a t-shirt and she layered it with a sweater. Of course, if it's too hot, you will need to possibly remove the sweater and just have maybe a cardigan or just a t-shirt itself. But I really like how she layered it and still looks very, very effortless. I find that this outfit is very kind of like Paris 
Parisian in my opinion I find that French women dress very minimal and this type of look is definitely up my street because I really really like it so to create my own outfit I'm also wearing shorts the shorts that I'm wearing are from Levi's and they are 501s and then I have a vest which is actually the one that I'm wearing right now which is a little bit longer I decided to keep it kind of like neutral I didn't want to go for white in this outfit because the shoes that I'm wearing which are similar to hers are more of a warmer beige so I wanted my top to kind of like balance it out a little bit now it is a little bit warm at the moment to wear any sweaters however I decided to put a navy sweater which is from Uniqlo it's a cashmere sweater so it's perfect for the warmer weather in cooler evenings if that makes any sense I feel like my outfit looks very similar to hers and I really like the way it turned out. I would definitely wear this to go out on a date night or maybe out with the girls again because I feel like it's a really, really nice outfit. You could take the shorts out and put trousers, put leggings um, or even just culottes and I still think that everything else that I layered with the shorts would look really nice. And for bag, I kept it really simple I'm just wearing a black bag that I've had for some time and I really really love how this outfit came about okay so moving along to outfit number three which I feel is one of my favorites because it's pieces that I would wear anyway so as you can see here from the model she's wearing high-waisted super wide leg jeans and she paired it with this really nice printed t-shirt but I'm not even thinking about the print. I really like the tone of the t-shirt. It's kind of like a peachy pink, which is very flattering on most skin tones, especially at this time of year. I'm not entirely sure what shoes she's wearing, uh, but I'm assuming possibly she's wearing some high heels, maybe wedges, I'm not sure. And then she has a navy blue bag, and I find that the whole outfit for her, it's more kind of like, hobo chic which is really nice so to recreate this outfit the only pair of jeans that i have which are similar to these are my levi's high loose that i love i've mentioned these so much here on my channel i've done a video comparing levi's so make sure to check the link up here or i'll have that in the info bar below for you guys my t-shirt is from Arquette. It's very, very similar in tone to the one that the model is wearing, but it's completely plain. And the reason why it's plain is because I don't wear prints all that much and I don't wear kind of like letters and things like that or designs on my t-shirts. I like everything to be very plain and simple, but keeping in mind that this is an inspired outfit and not to be exactly the same as the models that i'm showing you but overall i feel like the denim the blue denim and the t-shirt look really nice together for my footwear i decided to wear some strappy heels so these ones that i'm wearing are from arquette i bought them last year but strappy heels are still in fashion so you can find similar pieces available. Of course, I'll have some available for you guys below. And I really love the black, the blue, and the peachy tone of the t-shirt. As you can see, I'm keeping it simple with only three shades because I didn't want to overwhelm the outfit because the t-shirt is already a little bit out there for me. And for bag, of course, I'm keeping it simple. It's a black bag um, that I've had for some time. But overall, I really like this outfit. It's definitely something I would wear a whole ton. Okay, so moving right along to outfit number four. And this time the model is wearing a skirt, which you guys already know I don't wear all that often. But when I saw this picture, I knew I had a skirt in my closet exactly the same. So she's wearing a slip skirt, possibly with a tank top um, underneath and then she layered it with a white shirt it could be cotton or linen not entirely sure and then on her feet she is wearing just a pair of white trainers so to recreate this outfit I am wearing 
almost the exact same things that she's wearing. I'm assuming she's wearing the same skirt from H&M that I have from last year, which is a really, really nice skirt. It's made of viscose. So it's a great fabric that you can still wear for the warmer weather. Um, I'm wearing it with a black bodysuit uh, from Zara. And then I layered it with a linen shirt from H&M again that I've had for so long. I've spoken about this shirt so much. I've done a video styling it. So make sure again to click on the i button or in the info bar below after you watch this video. And for trainers, I am wearing my Veja Campo trainers, which I feel because they're very neutral, they really complement the entire outfit. Bag, black bag, because it just goes with everything. This is definitely an everyday casual feminine type of outfit for me. You could definitely take the t-shirt, not the t-shirt, sorry, the shirt off and the trainers and then pair it with high heels, with flats. Um, there's different ways or even boots you could pair this outfit and I think it would look really nice. But as you can see, side by side, I feel like I have almost the same pieces that she's styling in her photo, which is probably something that you also have in your wardrobe. So make sure to check your wardrobe if you want to recreate any of these outfits because more than likely you have at least two or three pieces in there. Okay guys, so moving right along to the next outfit. As you can see here on the model, she's wearing blue denim shorts, which are a little bit distressed on the leg at the bottom. She's wearing, I believe, either a satin cami or maybe a silk cami. Um, she's wearing a nice blazer that for me looks like it has a little bit of texture on it. When it comes to her shoes, I'm not entirely sure what footwear she's wearing. And then she's wearing kind of like a slouchy bag. So for me to recreate this particular outfit, I am wearing also denim shorts in the same tone that she's wearing. For my top, I am wearing the top that I'm actually wearing right now, which is made of Lyocell and it's super airy and breathable because I don't have a silk or a satin top in that particular shade that she's wearing. I decided for uh, my blazer to wear a linen blend blazer. This is from H&M. It's a little bit lighter than the one that she's wearing, but I feel like it complements my top and also my trainers, which are my Veja Campo trainers. Now this outfit, of course, I could have worn heels. I could have worn a pair of slides, but I wanted to keep it I don't know, a little bit more kind of like street style feminine, if that makes any sense. And I wanted to style it with my trainers because I'm in love with them. And I feel like they really um, elevate the outfit. I feel that the tones of the blazer and my trainers really complement each other and they make the outfit look a little bit more elevated. Now, when it comes to my bag, I wanted to keep it pretty simple so I decided to wear a black bag because it goes with the buttons that the blazer has on the sleeves and also at the front. I feel like it's a really good contrast but it's not too much. Again as you can see I am still keeping at the three color rule which doesn't overwhelm each other. I feel like all the shades complement each other and it's not too much. This is definitely a outfit that I would wear on a casual outing, um, possibly a date during the day, if that makes any sense, whenever I go on a date. <laughs> but um, I really like this outfit. I feel like um, it's something that most of us already have in our wardrobe, a pair of denim shorts, some trainers, a nice blazer, and a cotton uh, cami as well. So one of my favorites from this video as well. Okay guys, so we've reached the last outfit of this video. As you can see here from the model, she is wearing, in my opinion, an outfit that I would wear on a day-to-day -day basis, although I don't have all of the shades that she has. For example, she's wearing a white shirt. I have that in my wardrobe. She's wearing khaki trousers. I don't have that particular shade, 
but I have jeans in my wardrobe that kind of like give a similar feel. For her footwear, she's wearing uh, strappy flats um, in a tan shade, which is very wearable. Most of us already have that in our wardrobe. And for bag, she's wearing a kind of like a basket bag. So for my outfit, because I don't have khaki trousers, I wanted to kind of like invert the shade. So I would wear khaki on the top and something lighter as my bottoms so as you can see from my way of styling or recreating this outfit i am wearing a khaki or green shirt that i have from massimo duty really love this shirt never worn it with the uh, cuffs all rolled up usually because i really like it has buttons and i just leave it down but i really wanted to kind of like have a similar feel to her outfit and for my bottoms i'm actually wearing slouchy jeans from zara the ones that i'm wearing right now um, i've had them for over a year and i really love the look of these they're high-waisted they're a little bit baggy so they give a more relaxed feel to the outfit and because i don't have um, the same or sim similar style um, footwear that she's wearing in that particular shade. I am wearing my slides from In Other Stories, which are in the same shade that she's wearing, but they're just slides rather than sandals. And I still feel like it makes my outfit work really well. It flows really well together. And for bag, I don't have a similar bag to her, so I decided to wear my mango basket bag, which is also kind of like giving me similar vibes to what she's wearing it's very casual it's very summery um, and I feel like the shades in my basket bag complement both the green and the, the tan shade that I have um, on my slides so it's a similar outfit as you can see it's not exactly the same I inverted the shades I'm not wearing white at the top I'm wearing the green and at the bottom I'm wearing something lighter which is almost similar to what she's wearing but again it's inspired it doesn't need to be exactly the same but i still really love the way her outfit looks and maybe in the future i may get something kind of like along those lines of that khaki green for bottoms but for the time being this is my recreation and i really really love it so we've reached the end of this week's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give this video a good thumbs up, letting me know that you wanna see more of this sort of content in the future. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.